Thank you very much for giving me the chance to have a short interview with you in the Ministry of Information and Communications Technology. And welcome to Qatar and the Incubation Center. Thank you. Um, could you please first give the viewers a brief idea about your kind of business and particularly angry birds? Okay, so first of all, my name is Henry Holm. I'm ex uh, Rovio executive. Um, so at Rovio, we we built the brand over a very short period of time, which then had a global reach. There's a lot of contributors to it, you know, people, magnificent graphics and, and storytelling, the gameplay itself. All these are something that we can learn from and then take it into use also here in Qatar. Uh, you know, this kind of uh, ideas about incubating businesses or incubating startups, it's kind of um, new or still young in the art world. Why do you think this kind of incubation should be uh, enforced? I mean, why why the art world should give this kind of urgent attention to such projects, to, to those innovators? Why it's important? Is it for just for money making or just for fame or it has a greater and more important purpose in the long run? It actually has a greater and deeper meaning. It all starts from the education. We need to go in the incubation all the way to the universities. How the universities all the way look after the capabilities of their students and encourage. One of the greatest forces which actually blocks us to do great things is our own mind. And the own mind could be then unlocked during the learning process either in universities or even after. And incubation is a great place actually to test in a safe environment to understand your own limitations today and how to overcome those. So, uh, the idea of uh, um, being creative or being innovative, uh, when should it start? In schools, in university, or it can start any time? It can really start at any time. Usually what happens is that the best this way to be creative is that you are actually exposed into an environment which is with many different influencing factors. That could be a group of very diverse uh, background of people or then a, a using a technology as a choice to connect beyond just one country borders. So social media gives a possibility to influence the others and also take you know, a lot of good feedback very fast and efficient way. Um, my next question is uh if you if you got a chance to review the kind of work being done here, the kind of activity, the kind of uh, projects they have, what admires you? What what do you admire the most? What what makes you love the work being done here, and how do you see the future, the outlook about that? Okay, well, those are the questions we need to be able to answer on the day three when we have actually got to know more about the companies who we are now dealing with. But what I'm expecting, I'm expecting to see new innovation from Middle Eastern context to the local market, regional market, and then to the global market. So I'm sure that there will be a lot of things which are then from the story, from the characters, from the color choices, and everything combined together in a very creative way. And then that could be packaged into a service or a product, which can be then brought to the world. Yeah. Uh, uh you know that in, in, in our Arab community, it's common that you can find someone who has idea, a very good idea, but he is a little bit shy to announce it, a little bit shy to apply for some incubation services in such a center. What's your advice to these kind of guys who really would have very good ideas, very yeah. good uh, things in their minds, but they are hanged back to do it in, in real life? Well, there might be different reasons why people are holding back. Those could be something related to their own comfort zone of doing things. Then, of course, you need to find the other people who can compensate your own skill sets. Sometimes very technical people need commercial people around and, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Also, when you look at the uh, extremely good graphic designers and people who then have a commercial sense of what the graphic design is supposed to be selling and telling, then those people need to be surrounded by then the technical people. So again, it's about diversity and combining these different skill sets together. Yeah, in, in your point of view, what's the biggest challenge that might face any guy? It's the support from the family from the start, or the support from the government, or technical or financial? 
Well, I think the financial constraint is always the, one of the key limiting factors that you can start from very small, but still you need to have some resources around. The resources is about time, people and money. Of course, focus. What are you doing is important as well. So, Did you if, face this kind of problems in your I think, if, if, of course, if, 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 every possible you know, you know, angle, what we just mentioned, it is, is something that comes from the experience. So, so even, even looking at you know, nowadays startups I'm involved with, uh, it's, it's always really important to be focused on what you do, what is your first viable product, and then how do you move on to the next step, and how do you secure the finances on the way. Uh, I assume that you probably got a chance to review the services being provided in incubation centers in different Arab countries, not only in Qatar. So how do you evaluate these kind of things? They still lack some kind of services or is it enough? It still need some improvement or...? Well, first of all, it's a really important to have government involvement and the incubators which are then coming from the uh, call it an industry, startup industry. You have to understand the, the mentality and, and sometimes startups can be very brave. But then at the same time when you are brave, you have to take very logical steps. And um, I would say that you know, even within the region, in the Middle Eastern region, there's a lot of diversity uh, in terms of cultural diversity, uh, diversity on the, on the consumption. We need to look into the, also the monetization models. Some countries are more easily uh, accessible to the monetization than the others. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a very good point. Um, my last question is, um, for any guy who has a good idea, who has a project, who is starting a new company, maybe they will seek fast money, they will seek fame, stuff like that. Uh, uh, of course, they need to be patient in order to make what they dream of. What's your advice to well, those kind of people? Uh, uh, my advice would be to really think about the product first. Because if you don't think through the product and you very fast way try to look into the monetization, you don't actually go through the get, keep and monetize steps. That you actually um, um, be able to actually address the needs of the, of the consumers or the fans who you try to uh, reach and, and achieve into your service portfolio. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you very much for this uh, virtual interview. Thank you. And, like and we'll see you again in, in, in three days. After the, yeah, after thank, the you. thank you very much. Thanks.